What's good with y'all boys? You already know it is one dog coming at you at another video, man. Before you start this video, I pray you to the most high, y'all, man. Make sure you guys give it a like to the Lord and Savior. Also, man, make sure you guys like and subscribe on the video. Gonna have trying to grow a lot. Now, I appreciate you guys for really coming out and showing love to that video yesterday, man. The view count had been low because YouTube wasn't sending out a lot of notifications, etc. But I appreciate you guys. Listen, all I ask is that you like this video. Liking this video is going to put me in the algorithm. You guys got to get me in the algorithm. So like it up right now. But let's hop straight into it. How ethnicity slash race affects your handsomeness. Or, you know, just basically how it affects being handsome in general. Now, this is a very, very great video that I know you guys have been waiting for for a long time. You know, that I haven't spoke on. But listen, race affects it tremendously. I want you guys to understand that, man. I'm just going to keep it a stack with you. I'm not going to sit here and sugarcoat anything about it. But being white is more attractive as a man than it will be being black. It's just going to be more universally attractive. I'm just keeping it a stack with you. If you look... And listen, the proof, I don't, my word is nothing. The proof is everywhere. Listen to me. You guys know that in social media, in just the media in general, white men are, are deemed more attractive than black guys. Now, don't get me wrong, man. The reality of it is, now that, that could not be the case, you know. The reality of it is, man, I feel like this is not the case, but it's just, I'm looking at the cards we have been dealt as far as this society. And it is looked at as white people are more attractive, you know. Anybody with some real common sense can see that, you know. Just look at it, for example, guys. If you notice, with these big companies, where do they try to? Who do they try to put the face of as their company? A white person, a, a attractive white guy, a Chad. They try to put an attractive white guy over, you know what I'm saying, as the face of the company, you know, picture of the company, whatever. They don't really want black guys like that. They feel like, you know, black guys are less attractive. Black guys are not going to really bring them the, what should I call it? Bring them the clientele that they would like. You know, they feel like with a white attractive face on there, it's going to work out. You know, that's just how it is. And another proof in the pudding, you know what I'm saying? This is just common sense. Look at the superheroes. Why the hell do we not have a black Superman? Why? You feel me? It is a white Giga Chad that has been our Superman for a very long time. He ain't the Superman no more, but he was our Superman for a very long time. So that should tell you guys something. Why isn't Superman black? You feel me? There's plenty of Tyrones out here. Look at Idris Abel, uh, Idris Elba, uh, Michael B. Jordan. There are plenty of guys. Even the guy that played, um, y'all know the, the, the um, I think it's called the First Purge. He's the main character at the beard and stuff. I believe it's him. He could play Superman. He, he's jacked. But they don't want that. You know what they choose and put in front of the public eye? They put a white Superman. Same thing with Spider-Man. Even though... Now listen. Even though Miles Morales is on the horizon. At the end of the day. Spider-Man has been marketed as a white person. As a white guy. I'm telling y'all this, man, even with modeling, even with modeling, man, even with modeling, white men are just deemed more attractive than black guys. You know, like I said, the reality of it is I feel like that's not true. You know what I'm saying? But the reality of it is, and even with the dating pool of women, I want you to look at something. A white guy is going to be much more attractive to more races of women than a black guy is. It just is what it is with that, guys. A black person is going, a black man that is considered handsome, attractive, is going to be less attractive. He's going to be less attractive than he is. And y'all see me throw my hand up like that? Or somebody just blew the horn. But he's going to be less attractive than a white person. A white man's dating pool, an attractive white guy, attractive white Chad dating pool is much more large than a black person. Tyrone or whatever you want to call it is much larger and this is facts this is facts guys blacker and browner races tend to appeal more to you know what I'm saying to more of the you know Latina something like that but universally the white guy has a picking of them all except I'm gonna say this it's not that common for a black girl to just really want a white guy it's not that common it's common common but not that common if you know what i mean you know it's more so of 
you know what I'm saying, the background. If that that girl is raised, you know what I'm saying, in a in a kind of a a suburban household, she got she might have a tendency to go for white guys. But for the most part, man, these black girls are not gonna want white guys like that. But just universally, guys, looking at the facts, it just is what it is, man. White guys are deemed more attractive, and this is the thing. I want you guys to understand is that if you are black, you are brown. That is not the end all be all. You know what I'm saying? It's better to want the people who want you than, you know what I'm saying, to be worrying about what races of women want the white guy. You know, I'm telling you this right now. I give you I get even more detail with it. If you're a black guy and, you know, you consider yourself the Tyrone status, you look real good or whatever. You are going to appeal to more black women than anything. You just are. You know what I'm saying? You are going to appeal to more black women than anything. Now, I will say this. Let me get out the, the, the exceptions. We're getting the exceptions out. If you're somebody like Russell Wilson, you know what I'm saying? Somebody like that, that's, you can just tell Russell Wilson is, you know, he, he's more so on the suburban white side. Then, of course, you're going to attract a lot of more white women. But that's the exception. For the most part, most of, most of us black guys will attract a lot of black women am i saying that's the only thing you're gonna be able to get with no i'm not saying that so don't put words in my mouth but what i'm simply saying is as a black man as a handsome black man you are going to attract more black women than anything and unless you're the exception like i said because me in my life i've attracted more black women than anything than anything and as far as white women curious white women white women who haven't experienced bbc those are the type of women that come at me or, or the, the white women who like being in the gym and she's staring at the black guys and just figuring out which one she want. Something like that, man. Or, or the, the white girls you see on the day naps and stuff like that that's just seeking Chad and Tyrone. Something like that. But for the most part, guys, my dating pool has been strictly black women. Just strictly black women, man. That's that's how most of the chat. If you're a white guy, then you know this. You guys can... I'm pretty sure I got the Chads, the Tyrones, the Fernandos, etc. You guys know, you know, if you're white, you're Chad, you know that you tend to attract a lot of racist women, the Asians, um, the, the uh, white girls, the, we can go on, the Latinas, all that, man. And listen, like I said, guys, you know, if you are in a certain area where, you know, black people aren't as much then you'll be attracting a lot of white women, a lot of different races of women, of course, because you're not that, you know what I'm saying? You're not a commodity there. You know, I got one homie, man. Shout out Sins World. I'm telling you guys right now, man, you know, not to even speak too much on the situation, but shout out to the homie, man. The homie is in the place where not many black guys are at, so he's attracting all different sorts of races of women. You know, the red-haired white girls, the um, the blonde-haired white girls, you know, Asian girls, etc. He's just checking all what you know, all races of women. But that's because he is in a place where not that many black guys are at. You know, and also just just me telling you guys that you guys can see, you know, with him attracting that, that's how normally a white guy's dating pool is. So I'm telling you this right now, man. Unless you are in an area where the black the black man is, you know what I'm saying, it's scarce, it's not, it's not that common. More than likely, you know, you're gonna retract number black women. There's nothing wrong with that, man. There's nothing wrong with it. And a lot of times, guys, as far as you know, sex and white women go, a white woman will tell you she don't want to marry a black guy, but she'll have sex with him. It's a big difference. Most white women do not want to have you know what I'm saying? Sex. I mean, not sex, but they don't want to marry. They don't want to have a black husband. You know, some of them do. But like I said, it's not generally the popular thing to do. But a white man's, a white Chad's dating pool is just going to be supreme. It just is what it is. Like the big red pill for me looking at that was the fact that all superheroes, guys, all superheroes that I look at, the Supermans, the Spider-Mans, the Batmans, they are all white and why is that it's because the white guy is universally more attractive it just is what it is today if you guys disagree with this video then you might be in denial because i'm not going out for what i think in my opinions no i'm going out for what i've been seeing over the years what i've been looking at on tv over the years i'm not talking about like in reality because in reality guys you know 
things can be different but i'm saying media and stuff like that has a big has a big control over a lot of folks minds so a lot of people are going to choose what the media is presenting you know what i'm saying it's going to it's going to choose what the media is presenting you feel me so understand that man white guys are just universally more attractive black guys are not so much you know what i'm saying we are more attractive to our race and you know if you're a mexican something like that you are going to be more attractive to your race you know white guys are just going to be mo the most supreme universally attractive race it's just the bottom line with that you know and us black and brown races we are going to typically be more attractive to our race you know and listen guys like i said in reality you can still you know what i'm saying bag a, a white girl you can bag an asian girl if you're black or brown i'm not saying you can't but i'm just saying how race affects your handsomeness that's all i'm saying you know and if you guys can't separate and understand that click out the video dislike it do whatever the hell you want to do but listen make sure you guys like this video if you did enjoy this video make sure you hit the like button i'll subscribe if you're new comment down below and i'm out